Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you are having an issue with Google Chrome if you're opening up and it's just showing a blank page. So hopefully it should be a pretty straightforward tutorial here. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I want you guys to do is open up the start menu. So just left click on the start button one time. And you want to type in run, so R-U-N. Best match should come back a run, so you just want to go ahead and left click on that one time. So in the description of my video, I'm going to show you guys a path that I want you to copy from the description of my video. And it should start with a percent sign. And then just paste it into this run field, just right click and then paste, or you can do control V to paste it in whichever you prefer. Left click on OK. Please note that we are going to be removing the user profile. So if you have a user profile you log into with Google Chrome and that's like your default profile page, you will create a new default folder here. So it's not actually deleting or modifying your Google account. It just is disconnecting the Google integration with your browser, so to speak. And you just would have to sign back in and then it would create the new profile. It wouldn't be a big deal, but just want to put that out there. So once you're here, you want to go ahead and right click on this folder that says user data and then left click on delete. And once it's done, you close out of here. So another thing you want to go try would be to open up the start menu, just off on the start button one time, type in Chrome. You want to right click on the best match here, which should say Google Chrome hopefully, and then left click on where it says open file location. Now you want to right click on the Google Chrome shortcut listed in here, and left click on properties. You want to left click on the compatibility tab, and where it says run in 256 colors, I would suggest check marking it, so if there's an option in your settings to do that, I would suggest doing that. So we're going to do reduce color mode. We're going to go ahead and select 8 bit 256 color. You can always just restore it back to default by just unchecking the box here. So if you're noticing that's not fixing your problem, welcome to just turn it off. It shouldn't be a big deal. And then you would just also want to apply and OK. And we close out of here. Again, you know, I would suggest restarting your browser as well this time. Hopefully that's been able to resolve the problem. So there you go, guys. So hopefully that was able to resolve the problem. If you notice when you're minimizing and maximizing, the appearance might change a little bit. That's just a little effect of selecting that color change. So it shouldn't be that big of a deal. But again, if you want to just uncheck it or go back, you know, that's up to you. Feel free to reinstall the browser as well. I know that's going to have some success. Another thing you can go ahead and try would be to go up to the more menu icon near the top right corner of the browser, left click on it, and then left click on settings near the bottom of this list. You're going to have to give the settings screen a moment to load here. And you want to scroll down until you get to advanced settings near the bottom. And left click on that to expand the advanced. And now you want to scroll down to the system section where it says use hardware acceleration when available. If it's currently toggled in the on position, which should be blue, just toggle it to off, which should be gray. So it should be gray oval. And then left click on relaunch to relaunch the browser. And that should hopefully be about it, guys. So a few different methods about how you can hopefully go about resolving the problem. I do have one of the methods I showed did yield some success for you. Again, you can play around with it a bit if you want to just turn the one off. So maybe when you're launching the Google Chrome web browser, you don't see that older looking Chrome interface along the top bar. I mean, this is little stuff in my opinion, but if it bothers you, you're welcome to roll back on a couple of the things that I share in this video. Hopefully you guys watched the full video before you start doing stuff, but it was very easy to just turn it off as you saw. So again, I do have this brief tutorial I was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.